In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at some tips on using a special effect called Texturize. I have a clip on the screen of a young man in the pool, and let's assume that for some reason we wanted to add a texture to this entire clip. Let me show you how to do that, and then we'll look at a probably a more practical way of using the texture effect. In order to do that, I need some kind of item I can use as a texture. So I'm going to click on my project assets and I have two things here. I have bricks, which I'm going to drag to video track one, and then I have concrete. And these are the types of files uh, that you will need in order to texturize another layer or another track. So in order to texturize, all I need to do is highlight the particular item that I want to texturize. And the texture that I'm going to use has to be uh, there at the same time frame. So if I click my uh, current time indicator here and apply it, it will look like bricks until this moment in time, and then it will look like concrete. So it, there is a correspondence vertically between what you're texturizing and where your texture goes. So I'm going to click on the uh, video clip of the young man and then click on the FX in my action bar on the right. And I pick Texturize. It's under the Stylize option. I drag and drop it right onto my clip. And then I have several options. It says, where is your text layer found? The default is none. Right now it's looking at video three. But now my texture is on video one. So I'm going to click on video one. And immediately I see the brick. Now one thing I recommend doing is hiding this layer where your textures are. That way they will not interfere in your project elsewhere. Like for example, here I see concrete. If I hide the layer by clicking on the picture of the film, now I don't see it. I still can use it, but I, it doesn't interfere with any of the other layers. So here I see concrete, and here in this section I see brick. You have a couple of options that you can use once you see this. One is the light direction, and as I move the slider, you're going to see a slight difference in what that texture looks like, all because of the lighting. So that's the option there. Again, if you do the reset, it will reset it back to uh, the normal, but I also have to reset the video track. Then you also have contrast. You move the slider to the left, it's uh, less apparent, it's, it's uh, more subtle. You move it to the right and it's much more uh, visible as your texture layer. There is another option here that I have not uh, been able to implement. It's called, how do I place it? Do I uh, uh, tile it? Do I center it? Or do I stretch it to fill? No matter which one I have used, if my texture is smaller than my image, I have not been able to get it uh, to cover the entire screen. So I don't know if this is a code issue in uh, Premiere Elements 2018 or not. But I have found if I make the texture at least the same size as my my maximum image, then it will cover the screen. But these these buttons here are not currently working for me in my setup, and I'm not sure why. Uh, but that's a little bit about how you use the texture on an image. Another reminder I'd like to give you about this is it only applies to that image. If I drag in another uh, video, I'll take this and put this on video track number three, and go ahead and click here. The texture does not impact this track at all, unless I go back to my effects room and drag texturize on, and then I click on the track I want the texture to come from, and now I've applied the video both to this uh, video clip, the texture, and to this video clip. So you can apply it selectively no matter how many layers you have, how many tracks you have in your project. And to remove it, all you do is click on the garbage can and it's removed from that particular object. Now, most of the time, we will not be using texture. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this layer here, just delete it. 
Most of the time we won't be using texture on a video, but we will be using it on objects. So let me show you a little bit about how to do that in a helpful way. On my project assets, I have an object here. It's a baseball. I'm going to drag and drop it. Now, I'd like to have this baseball take on a slightly different look. And this is where texture is probably most often used. So I'm going to uh, highlight the, the baseball image and then click on my action bar in effects. I'll texturize it. I'll go back to my video track one where my texture is. And notice immediately now I have a baseball that has this brick uh, uh, look to it. And I can go ahead and change it any way I want. And uh, that's kind of nice. Or in this particular case, if I move down, I'm going to make the brick smaller here, drag over the concrete. Now I have a concrete baseball. And again, I can go ahead uh, as I click on it and I can change the contrast. I can make it uh, a little more gritty over here. I can change the light direction of this. And uh, so the objects are probably going to be more often static objects that you texturize rather than entire videos. But those are a couple ways in which you can apply the, the texture effect and how to figure out where do I want it, what track do I want it on, and how do I want to apply it in my particular situation as I continue video editing in Premiere Elements 2018.